Phoenician trade has spread throughout the Mediterranean, but Greek raiders are threatening merchants bound for the distant colony of Gades in Spain. You have been given the important task of establishing a safe haven for Phoenician traders in North Africa. Colonists have been provided and you must build up the basic infrastructure of a city that is to be called Carthage. By following your advisor's instructions, you will learn to develop settlements into town centers and then into capitals. You and your Phoenician colonists have been dropped off in North Africa. A city that shall be known as Carthage is to be built here. Your advisors have chosen the perfect spot for a capital building and marked it with a flag. Build the capital near this flag. It will become the center of your city. Your capital is finished and your advisors have surveyed the surrounding land. The limits of the city of Carthage are now marked out with flags. All the buildings that you are required to build for Carthage must be constructed within these boundaries. Additional buildings that you decide to construct can be built anywhere. To feed your people, begin by building a granary within the boundaries. Then ensure that at least one farm gets planted. Carthage is off to a good start, but no city is complete without a temple to honor the gods. Build a temple within the city limits. Although your capital and granary required only wood, other buildings, such as temples, require stone as well. Some stone has been provided for you. Carlos. Stoma. Zunte. proper homage to the gods. Eventually, you will use temples to train priests and prophets. Temples also protect against calamities. But for now, do not forget your primary mission, to provide a safe haven for Phoenician vessels. This will require docks. Build at least one dock on the shore near your capital. Oh, okay. Toma. Toma. 
future of your fledgling city, you must gain control of vital resources. Gold and stone mines can be found inland, outside your city limits. Colonize both of these areas by constructing one settlement near the stone mines and one near the gold mines. Currently, you have good relations with the indigenous peoples of this land, but that could change. To protect your access to the mines, upgrade both settlements into stronger town centers. Settlements are upgraded by populating them with citizens. Select a group of citizens. The round button with the steps and columns is the populate button. Click the button and the mouse pointer changes to a hand. Now click on the settlement to populate it. The group of citizens will walk to the settlement and go inside. Note that clicking the Cancel Action button would have cancelled the Populate Action, turning the hand back into the normal mouse pointer. Carlos. Several citizens are needed to run a town center. So if the settlement didn't upgrade, populate it with more citizens until it does. Once inside the building, citizens take up permanent jobs and cannot leave. They are also removed from your population count. If the citizens were carrying resources, those resources were deposited in your inventories. Make sure to upgrade your other settlement into a town center in the same way. Your colony is succeeding admirably. Your fellow Phoenicians now have a safe harbor on their way to Spain and Sicily. New colonists from Tyre have arrived in Carthage. You can put them to work gathering or finish populating your buildings. Salas? Carlos. Talas. Forte. Carlos. Talas. Stoma. Okay. 
A bonus of populating your settlements is that citizens dropping off resources at a populated building get an economic bonus based on how many citizens are working inside. Now it is time to start gathering gold and stone for your growing city. Stockpile at least 100 units of each. If you wish, set rally points for your two new town centers and queue up citizens at them. Capitals provide the largest economic bonus since they require more citizens. They are also stronger buildings than town centers. Keep creating citizens and send them to populate your two new town centers. Once they are populated with enough citizens, they will automatically upgrade into capitals. You can view the current number of citizens inside by selecting the building. The population level is shown in the information area. Citizens can populate the town center or capital where they are created. Just place the rally point for the town center or capital on itself. Note that capitals can continue to be populated for larger economic rewards, up to a maximum level. You have done a masterful job. Under your astute leadership, the Phoenician colony of Carthage is growing to become a major power in North Africa. Soon, Carthage will break free of her mother city, Tyre, and emerge as an empire in its own right. <laughs> 